Alrighty, so we are going. So, this may be the decider match. It may be. We got OC Drummer playing the hopeful upset for Happy Hippos versus Bushimo. Okay, I'm just looking as a uh, his MMR, but Bushimo is playing for 8FA. So, it's only like two series left in 8FA versus Happy Hippos. And there's one series left in Clutch or Kick versus Monkeys. If Bushimo wins here 2-0, he uh, clinches the whole season for 8FA. If he goes 1-2 or 2-1, they still can either tie or lose the season. So this is actually a really big match. Um, now, Bushimo is generally, from what I remember, a human player, and he's actually higher MMR. But he was going off race, and his off race, as you saw, was 1300 versus OC Drummer, who is a human main 1300 player. Now, I cheat a little bit because I can see all the channels, so I know already what hero Bushimo is going to do, unless he lied to me, and that's going to be a lich. Because they asked him, what are you planning on doing? And he said, well, I'm going to play like Baron. And he lied to me. At least this game. Because I am not a heathen. I would never build a CL. No, I just don't like CL. So he's going for the expo. I guess he lied. Or maybe it's just LR is too good of a map for a CL in his mind. I love uh, going Lich vs. Human on any map, but... He's decided he's going to CL Expo, which can be very, very strong, especially in a player's hands like Bushimo. Um, we'll have to see if OC Drummer knows what to do or gets lucky enough on how to counter it. So, it's going to be an Expo. But at the same time, I have no idea how much work Bushimo has done with CL himself. He is not an undead main. Is it pretty straightforward to take it? Yeah. But he's already kind of screwed up. Like, why? This is just a waste of time. This is fine with OC Drummer. Unless he loses it. Don't lose the foot, man. That, that defeats the purpose. He also should have sent his ghouls back uh, to the Necro. Because that could be up to 60 wood sitting right there. He's, oh, that always sucks, but it didn't come out, so that's fine. He's not going for this straight, and he is going to expo. I just wanted to make sure, because he hasn't actually bought anything yet. He's going to go back. He's going to get his rod. He's going to get probably, let's say, yeah, sack skull. Okay, he's not even getting a rod, because you can use the beetles. It's not really the greatest idea. You always want to get the skeletal rod. He has 600 gold. You don't need that much gold. Um... And OC is also going to Expo himself. So we got Expo versus Expo. And Bushimo is taking forever. He should have already had this up by now, but OC just lost the uh, button for free. You really want to let the Water Alley, when possible, tank all this damage. OC, uh, okay, that was good. Never mind. You know how to do it. I was going to say, if you don't already know how to. Switch aggro, I was going to tell him. But he did it at the end. Bushy does not have enough wood yet to expo. He will get it the next time this comes back. It's 210. And he is sending back some of his workers. Or ghouls, because they were injured. Now, OC may get... If he... Um, I think it would be smart if he gets level 3. But then he's got to run over here and try and do some damage. Level 2 water elementals can do a ton of damage to ghouls. And they can do a ton of damage initially to the beetles. However, Bushimo is going to be close to level 3 himself. He'll get bigger, fatter, stronger beetles at that point. More than likely, he probably won't get impaled. So as we can see, OC is coming across. Um... Good timing because he won't have Bushy won't have level three. However, he needs to stop worrying about this 
He's, he, you really want to cancel the expo. Once the expo goes up, you got to worry that a new roof tower is being made. But he's not even upgrading the new roof tower. He needs to stop chasing. This is exactly what Bushimo wants. He is getting his own ex His expo is already up, so that's fine. But now he wants to cancel this expo. Bushimo is building another zig in his base. It's probably unneeded, but hey, who cares? Well, he should care. What? He's he's got to watch. There's probably an impale coming, but stop aiming the hero and just aim the gold mine. I am totally rooting for OC Drummer. I want to see the season continue. I want to see the hype continue, and this is amazing. Very well done. He's got to. Re he could cancel that again. Bushimo has to watch out. He only has 54 wood right now. Yeah, he's got plenty of guys on um, wood, but he's got to watch out. He's not teching anytime soon. He's not level 3 yet. That is, like, a huge level up for CL. So, very well done by uh, OC Drummer so far. That was a good timing. Uh, Bushimo is on his off race. He doesn't really necessarily know exactly what he's doing and you could see all those few seconds of running over here running back killing the footy or trying to kill the footy all of that took up time he's not level three his expo didn't go up and now he's in a little bit worse uh of shape that's why we always sit here that was a nice deny by the way that's why whenever we do a replay review a lot of the times we're telling you you need to be moving you need to be doing something because this is where you see it's hurt him uh, OC is trying to surround, but he, you don't really want to surround some, this, that's deny, very nice, but he's getting plenty of denies, but you don't want to keep denying your unit, you just don't want them to die to begin with. So, Mashimo still has intact. Oof. The only way this is like me playing is he's possibly likely going to lose at this rate. It's the only thing we're going to have in common. But he needs to get attacking. There you go. And this is some of the nightmares you have about Cripplord level 2 beetles. Nice aiming with the tower. On the CL, he can't impale anymore. That's always nice, uh, but that is certainly not enough militia for all of this. He needs to watch that. He does have plenty of people over here though on wood, so he's not hurting for wood. He has 770 wood, but you don't want to be losing uh, militia like this. But you can see these water elementals do huge damage to these ghouls. Uh, he's probably putting down another crypt. It's really the only thing he can put down. A player's fork. Not much to say. Right now, the supply says a lot, though. 48 out of 48, which he needs to fix, by the way. Get a farm. 32 out of 60. Get a farm. Where's your farm? He's going to feel real bad. Damn it. When he's getting up double Sanctum and you're not even tier 2 yet, you both expo, that's a problem. This is very nice from OC. He's going to be, I'm going to call him OC because he's like, you know, then if someone watches, they won't know which OC I'm talking about. But uh, OC's doing a pretty good job. He is losing a few foots though. Which always hurts. MK's out now, though. That's nice. Uh, now these ghoul donations, once the MK gets over here, will actually be a little bit more relevant. He should really come over here and just kill these workers. I get it. He has a necropolis, but it would be nice. He did uh, cancel that crypt, though. I didn't even really pay attention to that. And he's going... He's trying to cancel this crypt as well. He should be able to. Is he going to even can't? 
he didn't cancel it. Oop. Uh oh. Well, he's trying to go for this round on OC, but uh, OC just said, well, I'll nuke you. So he had to use a pot. And now, though, he's gotten the surround on the MK. And that is a dead MK. He should really use his mana before that happened. But. Alright, that's probably going to be the end of that harassment. Now, during all this, OC went up to 3,000 gold. He should really just tech to tier 3. Tech tier 3, get your MK back. Make all, there you go, make all the things in the world that you'd ever want. And during all that, Bushumo now is ahead in tech because OC sat tier 2 while Bushumo just kept teching. On the bright side, OC didn't build like a slaughter or anything. No, oh, no, over here it is. Never mind. Scroll protection, scroll of healing. Uh, generally, don't get protection, but that's only because it helps. You know, like that was two footies dead. You really don't three footies dead. You, you really don't usually get a scroll protection because destroyers will just suck it up, but yeah, we'll see. OC has his priest just relaxing in the base. There they go. Level two. All right. He definitely wants to solo creep this up. That is the right thing to do. Level two, not a big. Not a big improvement, but get to like level three, and then all of a sudden it gets a little bit more scary for Bushimo over here. So he has three crypts, two slaughterhouses, and a sack pit. Now, this is where I would say Bushimo's experience comes in a little bit more. Bushimo is not an undead player, but he is played, I think, more than OC has in general. So the later the game goes, the more comfortable he'll feel. While OC has done more early game with human than Bushy has done with undead, Bushy, I mean, OC probably felt more comfortable as a result. But we'll have to see how this goes um, and see how it shapes up. Lich third, standard. Level three MK, very nice. And the pally's coming out. And knights, all right, so knights, spellbreakers, and priest. Um, he's gotta watch out though, okay, these cool run buys. He's trying to hit two places at once. He does have to watch out. The, the Lich is just sitting here. That's pretty bad. He was making mass statutes. It looks like he canceled them. I was going to say, if and he just he's going mass, mass, mass ghouls. 1-1 one, one mass ghouls, which is okay if these knights come out. That'll be real okay then. Um, and he has clap. So... He is not in a bad situation right now. He does have to watch this, though. This part hurts. This is the part that's killing him. He's just aiming workers during all this. And you really don't want to lose this knight either. Oof. See, these ghouls, they don't even take any damage. All right, so he's TP. Nice, he got the DK at least. Um, he hasn't even noticed. I still don't know if he's noticed. He did take the Karen Beetle. The problem is it's blocking him. And so is the hero. He doesn't know. Oof. Oh, see, there we go. And you can see just six schools, the work they did. The thing is, I'm I'm almost hoping Bushimo keeps pretending like he's Black Phoenix. 
Oh no, but if he gets this, that's huge. What? He should never have gotten that. I wasn't even paying attention to that because, you know, like, he should have been able to run over. So, forget everything I just said. I was going to say that going mass ghouls versus a level 3 MK is not a smart idea. One that has level 2 clap, especially with knights. But that was when they were on two bases to two bases. Now, Bushimo can be a big pain in the ass. And the knight, I mean, excuse me, the paladin is still just chilling over here. So this went from pretty good, unless Bushimo just dies here. That'd be cool, but, um... Ooh, he doesn't have statues yet. So these statues... I mean, excuse me, he doesn't have destroyers yet, so these statues are just gonna sit there. Yeah, they can heal, but... They're not gonna save his butt. And that is a dead lich. Very nice. So, OC's biggest chance is just to win right now. But he's got to also be sure he doesn't run into all these towers and his priest die. If he can kill the, uh, at least two of these statues. Oh, no. Well, there go the priest. But that's a nice surround. The problem is Bushimo is fine making these trades. He shouldn't be fine making these trades, but because he's going to make in like two minutes destroyers and I didn't even see the frosty. Although the MK, I mean, the MK just bolted this EL. This is amazing. Problem is, he really can't shoot up. And he's not building anything back at home. The pally then died. Nice killing of the one statue. He really should just kill the other one. Before it morphs. He's got to watch out. The paladin, like I said, is dead. So he's actually going to have to TP. Uh, one last clap. There we go. That was a ton of damage. Problem is, he did not expo behind this. If he had re-expoed. Game on. But the second Frosty is now coming out. One destroyer. Mass ghouls. The one thing he has going for him right now are his hero levels. But the later this game goes, not good for him. Well, that's interesting. No more wood. This forces Bushimo to make more ghouls. He probably wanted some ghouls, but not necessarily. And Rossi's cost a ton in wood. And he's got to make the choice of, do I keep the ghouls on wood now, or do I pull them in, like, hit or something? But uh, OC's been sitting in his base this whole time, so he's got the unfortunate thing of having no gold Our players forces are under where is his paladin did he never build the paladin again well that's not a good idea so these flying machine are an okay idea the problem is you need a lot of them to be relevant he's got to basically hope just to hero aim like hell which he is and win via that oh he left Pause. That's very nice of him, but you saw right there a knight dies because so much magic damage OC is not even checking up here I don't blame him, but he's not gonna see the clause plus 12 which would be really probably nice when you're uh, Dealing with the stuff he's dealing with He's I don't know where Bushimo thinks he's going, but if he gets bolted he's getting surrounded And This is the one lone Gyrocopter that needs to win the game This Archmage has 500 life. Each Frostworm does about 100 damage. So, he really needs to watch out. And these Water Ellies, while they are the only thing that can shoot up, you can see how much damage they take, and they also actually make the uh, Destroyers stronger. On the bright side, he can't do anything to these Spellbreakers, except the Ghouls. On the bad side, well, I've already talked about all of the bad sides. Um, 
Oof. And here comes the hero aim and death. So OC was looking very, very good until he lost his axe spell. And then everything kind of fell apart. And... Oh. I thought he was aiming himself for a second. And that's game one. Alright. So. 8FA is one game closer to winning this. I really gotta... Hold on, I'm just signing in. So I can update scores and junk. Okay, I still can't. Oh, damn it. All right, I'm an idiot. Use the wrong count. Uh, did they post the next game yet? No. So anyone who was wondering what Bushy Moe's Undead looks like, you just found out. And it's definitely beatable. Let's put it that way. Hopefully he's getting some... Uh, encouragement from his team or whoever he's training with or you know like every other team that wants to see this keep going watch your kick or uh, anyone you should be messaging them right now and telling them what to do like where he went wrong so he can fix said issues. All right, so one more win. And AFA is officially the winner. Pi Commando needs to lose 2-0 to Burrow Rush, and OC Drummer has to come back and win 2-1. And then, and only then, can Clutch or Kick possibly win. Monkeys, you're officially out now. Sorry, you got four points between you and eight FA. Clutch your kick. They're two. They're two points behind. They could still win though. I'm waiting for a game. I haven't seen anyone make the game yet, so. Just hanging out. Talking about life. Or something. Someone made a game. I just don't know what it is. God, I'm so smart. Alright, Qbert. Stop telling Bushy Mo how to, you know, like, you're telling him everything. Whatever. So... I don't know what the map is. Amazonia is like the first map always to come up. So we're going to see. Okay, one sec. I didn't even see that. So that's what we're waiting on. This is... Uh, I wonder if he's going to pick Amazonia. You just played a CL user. Problem is, he can't really expo this map himself. I mean, he can, but they both could. He went CL and the other one just went the standard expo, but Amazonia is not the easiest map 
but it would stop the CL shenanigans, at least Expo shenanigans. Or if he did try and do it, pretty easy. All right, it looks like we might be doing Amazonia. It says he's ready. I didn't see if he switched at the last moment, so I'm waiting. Oh, I should really upgrade, update that, shouldn't I? There's probably a hotkey for this, but I don't know it, so... Bam. one oh, That's what I updated. Since no one knows what I'm bamming about. Now... Is Bushimo going to do barren things? All right, this would never be my build placement. But it's going to be a ghoul opening, whatever it is. Not much to say right now, because there's never anything to say this early, and I don't know their history or junk. I already wasted all that on game one. Damn. I'm I'm actually curious what Bushimo's going to do. He might go Lich. Uh, what it was. DK. Oh. Lich isn't that great on this map either. It's only great when... It could actually be great at this MMR. Because I don't know how good OC Drummer is going to do with the LS. If he gets LS, half his uh, peasants may be like... A Nova away from death. That's always something you got to watch out for. Even at my MMR. You know, a solid 1500 MMR. Right? Are on my way to. Um, no. But you always got to watch out for that LS. It could be a pain in the ass. But if he does it right, then the peasants shouldn't take too much damage. Alrighty. So he's not bringing the foot. He's not. He did scout with the other one. Couldn't really see it with the purple. Let's say, where is it? Uh, no, no, this is what I meant. Wouldn't it be nice to have Nova right now? But he doesn't. Oh my God. This is painful. No. Oh, and it got denied. And they're all going to die. This is like the wet dream for Bushimo as a human player. Murder everything. And have the one creep denied. The only way that gets better is if you stole the creep yourself. He's got to start rebuilding all these peasants he's been losing. And Bushimo is just teching. Three ghouls. He's not even building more than that. Um, that's all he really needs, but usually you don't do this build if you're just going to go three. But hey, I mean, he even built two uh, two eggs and he's building a third. Which usually means you're going to like stay tier two for a little while, but I think it also just means Bushima doesn't really know undead. So we'll see. I have a feeling he's going to go right to tier three. But we'll see. All the fun upgrades are at tier 3. All the things that everyone thinks are in balance because they are, is tier 3. He is taking a lot of damage on the DK. It's not that easy, but you might just to stand there and, you know, nuke everything. You do have to move a little bit. 4 XP from level 2. He'd love level 2. That Skelly is not going to give it to him, though. Shouldn't give it to him. 
Very close, but there it goes and runs out. No level two for you. But he's giving him level two now. There you go. Jesus, Bushimo. You're never going to have to build a zig again. Oh, but OC is still tier one. What am I doing? Fiend's coming now. You know, it's about time he's got enough zigs, right? He can build his first fiend. It was really because the graveyard was late. That's why he had to do it that way. I'm actually amazed how much uh, gold Bushimo still has. See, he went right to tier 3. He cannot even get a Lich. This is as a result of building all of these zigs. That's why you don't see people build all these zigs ahead of time. There's just, it's 50 wood each. So you take away two of these, you're now at 22 out of 30 food. And whoever that was was pinging. It looks like he lost it once trying to pull this creep, but he's pulling it right the second time. He's still tier one. He's actually supply block on tier one, which is a problem. Um, and Bushimo is going to tier three. So not great for him. However, he is having some wood problems. He could get a Lich now. He only just has enough wood, as you can see. And OC is now level three. Not bad. Uh, and wow, Bushimo is taking a ton of damage. I do enjoy watching pretty good players uh, play their off race. Like my off races suck, so I can't talk. My main race sucks too, so I can't talk. But my uh, there's always this enjoyment of sitting there where like people are like, oh, I can just build archers and win. And sometimes they do, and sometimes they can. And sometimes you take a ton of damage, like you are on your DK, and then sadly, like an archmage walks up, pokes you once, and you die. Maybe that'll happen here. Who knows? The Lich is now almost out. Fiends are all at half-life. He only still has a level 2 DK. If he just splits up some foots on each of these Fiends, they will die. Ooh, nice. That was a nice uh, cancel of that tech. However... Okay, good. He is teching. Defend. Might as well when you have this many footies. Problem is, he's running into wood problems himself because he only has six over here. Although he does have a few. He's pumping over here. That's okay. He needs to be careful, though. He could get this. He could get to tier three. He's going to get his orb right now, I presume. No, he's just walking by. Um, And he doesn't have a slaughterhouse, which is good, but he's got to watch for the push at tier three with the orb. On the expo. I don't even know if he knows there's an expo. He should know. This item, Wanda Mana Stealing, only drops from here or here. So he knows it was at least crap. Or he should know. And that's going to give him level 3. That's not an upgrade you ever want to give a DK. Because this happens. He could just start nuking, but he's not. He's not really using his mana. He's just using a Lich mana. Uh, he could kill all these foots, which is a few nukes, as they run away. Like that one. 200 damage right onto that. You poke it once, it dies. That's like the best feeling, really. A player's forces are under attack. When you hit that tier, uh, when you hit your level three and like they were trying to push you and all of a sudden they have to run and you just watch everything die to nukes as they run away. Okay, so he's putting down his blacksmith. He is tier three now or tier two now he's getting a lumber mill so he is trying to tower up a little bit uh the problem is he has no wood he's getting a second barracks so he's got to choose do i want to upgrade these towers well, never mind he's building more towers he's got to choose though does he want to get his mk or whatever hero or does he want to make towers in a minute he needs more wood that's for sure and uh, let's see if Bushy is planning on coming down the line. I think so. Oh! I didn't even notice. He lost his altar. 
no no third hero for Bushy as a result. He was sitting there. Probably wanted to get a PL or DR, but nope. Now, these towers will be denied very easy. Hopefully he... Okay, he's not aiming that one, but he needs to cancel the scout tower if uh, it starts getting aimed. If he can block in these units, he's all right, but he cannot lose all of these workers. That's all Bushimo is going to do with this. The MK will not really be out in time to really do anything. I'm guessing Bushy will TP beforehand, but if he loses these two fiends, that is huge. That was a big blunder. That was not worth it. Suddenly, Bushimo can't do anything. Two fiends, you can't push into here. Not even against one tower. He doesn't have his statues because they got canceled earlier. The MK is out now. He still has the hero advantage, but that was a blunder. He just lost a lot of the advantage he did have. Hopefully OC sees he only has four on gold over here. There we go. Good. Um, I forgot what it's called. Increase wood production. You probably should get that. You know, come back with more wood. Or be able to mine more wood before you come back. Is he going to lose a... Ooh. Spicy. Thank you, creeps. Bushimo, you're, you're lucky I'm already done with the video. Alright, add that. Alright, so... He just pushed into low upkeep. I don't know what he's... Oh, okay. He's building priests. That's what... That's what that was. So he's going double barracks, rifleman, with double sanctum. Okay, he is going tier three. Um, last game, he built the pally, lost the pally, and never rebuilt it. So hopefully he does more with the pally this time. Maybe uh, he's going rifle into knights. The knights are always nice. Uh, unless Bushimo. No, he's not. He's not getting any uh, banshees yet, which is good. He's getting a PL. Now, PL is a good third hero. Oh my god, he just lost another fiend. I'm loving this because, you know. I just kind of feel like Bushimo is a human player, so he must be like, well, I'm just going to play Undead and win. But it's not that straightforward. But anyway, what I was saying is PL is a really good third hero. But it feels, and it's been nerfed and all that kind of recently, but it feels like it's more useful. And this is going to be a hard camp to take. Good luck, Bushy. Ooh, and he's going to maybe see it. But anyway, it's it's a hero you use usually to push, not to creep. I mean, Rain of Fire is not going to do much for you. That's a dead fiend. Let's see if he sees it. He should, and that... This is amazing. OC, kill him, and then just take the Granite Gold. But watch the bash, or the clap, or whatever they call it for the creep. Because you're about to get stomped. That hurts. But, it's worth it. That is an amazing creep jack. He's lost more fiends to creeps than to OC. But he's also lost quite a few to OC as well. Almost level 3 on his MK. I don't know what Pushimo thinks he's going to achieve with this. Unless OC turns around and fights. In which case, it worked out. Because his army still is kind of better. Unless OC gets level 3 real quick and then starts nuking things because his DK is almost out of mana. Our player's forces are under attack. Alright, so what we need is Bushimo to go over here and start taking this creep. And get it halfway down for OC again. And then for OC to creep jack. That's what we want. The knights are coming. Very nice. The paladin's coming. This is a very good upgrade versus an undead. Because it does more damage to medium fiends. But I'd probably get a few more knights first. Uh, you know, having knights is better than having a knight with the upgrade. And here you see the Reign of Fire. It can be alright. You know, if you can actually hit the units like flying machines, it does plenty. However, there are other 
heroes that can do it easier, especially at lower levels, like a C, uh, excuse me, a DL. You know, it's harder to miss. He has to be careful with his hero. It does not have any healing on it. He doesn't, oh no. He doesn't have a vault. Where's his vault? It's all the way over here. So he does have to be careful what, no, his knight. He has, all right, he shouldn't lose this. I don't know if that was intentional or not. He just nuked instead of healed his hero. His DK, had, he has to watch out. Or OC can just keep nuking fiends too. He's going for the hero. Not probably the best idea. He probably could have killed two more fiends just by chasing. Nice try at the block though, but he does have a TP. He's got to waste it. That's fine. It's uh, 350 gold He if he wants to rebuy it. Which he doesn't really want to. You know, he doesn't have the gold because you really want... To. He's expoing. Okay, but he's building Acolytes right now, which is actually a waste of money because he has no idea if this expo is going to go up. Um, so he definitely doesn't want to rebuy when all that is happening. But he did, which means he's not building probably, like, any units. Works for me. Again, I am extremely biased. And this is the uh, what we like to call the right-click army coming up out of OC. Or at least that's what every undead calls it. You right-click with your knights, you right-click with your flying machines, and hope everything dies. Or you die. One of the two. Our player's forces are under attack. He does only have one workshop, though, so this will be hard to replace these flying machines. And it's only three of them. And they could be totally useless if he just doesn't build any more uh, destroyers, which he mostly would be fine with. He only has three flying machines right now. He is getting a few more, but they're cheap. It's only out of one. And this is where the pit lawyer kind of shines, doing this right here. Oh, very nice TP. He had to get out of there quick. Just kill a fiend, please. All right. Don't. These creeps somehow are still available. You should definitely take them just so that the Lich doesn't get level 4 and the DK doesn't get close to level 5. Give himself some closer to level 2 on his pally. That's a big level up. You know, you can stay alive a little bit longer. But instead, he is going straight in. Pushimo is trying to expo again. So everyone who said that these matches weren't close, they are. So now he has a choice. Does he morph a destroyer to get rid of inner fire plus five damage? There you go. He made his choice. Now you need to move your flying machines over here, please. But... We'll see how this goes. And he's just aiming the paladin because level two can't do uh, level one. It can't do much without its level two divine shield. The heroes are surrounded, but so is the MK. Okay, in Volpot. He's really not getting that much damage done. It's slow, and maybe it'll work. There we go. Good. He is just aiming the DK. The DK does have a TP. And that MK, it's going to have to run. Oh, no. It's a dead MK. That was really not necessary to pop that pot, but he's going to have his expo up soon. Rebought a level 1 Paladin as well? Okay. And he's sitting at 81 out of 90 food. That's a hard food to sit at. However, 50 out of 70 food for Bushimo. It's not a great food to be sitting at either when the other guy has 80 food. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, you really don't see many... I mean, you do sometimes, but Priest in this matchup... I'm sure humans go back and forth about that. Uh, 
there is only one destroyer, so they will be useful, and they definitely did help in that fight. All right, so OC realized he's sitting at 81 food. He murdered one of his own peasants because murdering someone is better than getting less gold, obviously. All right, so we know where his hockeys are. <laughs> I think he hockeyed the flying machines with the priest. And OC does not see this coming. We'll have to see what Bushimo gets out of this. This could be a big creep. He should be able to get level 5 or close to level 5. However, he doesn't have a TP. So if this dies, he's in good shape. That is an amazing item, though. This might be rigged, I'm just saying. Nah. He uh, can't come over. Never bought a TP. Necro's dead. This is good. Nerub is dead. However, he's... Oh my god, he's about to get nuked, isn't he? That is one very exposed Archmage, and the human does not have a TP himself. He needs to heal. He needs to heal. He needs to heal, or he's just going to die. He needs to kill this before... Okay. One for one, but it's not really the... Uh, it's not the trade you want to make. He, he doesn't have web yet? Really? Alright, so that's a dead destroyer. That's pretty good. Level 2. Let's see. He's not... Oh no, his priest. And he rebought the Archmage, which is pretty ballsy when you're being chased by a... Well, for that reason. Alright, he didn't get the Vine Shield. He got the Aura. Not a fan. Oh, but his DK. If he surrounds his DK, this is amazing. I love you, Bushimo. As I said, this is called the right click army. Bushimo, run your hero back a little bit more, please. You bought your hero back? I can buy my hero back. Except his hero is level two. Oh, where is he running? All right, so... Oh, whoa. He might have just... Bushimo has to basically... Not die here. <laughs> There's no other way to put it. He doesn't have a TP. This is the fight. That was amazing. I did not see that coming. It was all a bait the whole time. He didn't get Divine Shield so that he would be aimed. I'm giving him probably too much credit, but still, that's what we're going with. And he has a TP this time. If he can... T don't die. If he can nuke this. If he can nuke it, nuke it, nuke it. Nuke it. No. Damn it. So close. So close. If uh, the MK had gotten the bolt off, it probably would have died, and that would have been game. But no, we're still going, guys. The gold mines ran dry. DK is out. Or, excuse me, the uh, Pit Lord is out. DK will be rebought. At level 5, it's like 700 gold, though. There's plenty of gold here. Well, that's not the problem. The problem is, if... Okay, he's not just running in. Now he's running in. If he rebuys the hero, he still doesn't have enough gold. His lich is out here. Please just start nuking stuff. Get that MK closer. Uh, so he's now doing it the slow way, which leaves a huge opportunity for OC Drummer. He should just run over here. Whoever's pinging, we know there's an expo and we know he should run there. Thank you. So he's sitting at 50. <laughs> I was going to say, he's killing the acolytes because he wanted to get to 50 food, but he just sat at 51. 
But OC is going to help him out with this and get him to 50 food by killing some Acolytes over here. So good guy OC helping out. He does have a TP again, so he should feel pretty comfortable. Just send one knight over here or even your water elemental and just keep killing stuff and you're in okay shape. Keep building units and he's got this game. As long as he doesn't lose to the first push by the undead. The undead comes in and starts blowing up heroes, he's lost. But if he can survive this first initial burst, don't even go into the base. There's no reason to attack anymore. The DK will be out soon. Okay, he's going into the base. He better kill him now before the DK comes out or run away. One of the two. Do not stay at this point, though. Just keep building units. Get upgrades. Get these knights nice and buffy. His priest died earlier, so he can't actually heal them all up easily. Still a camp over here. He could get level 5 on his Archmage or actually just solo creep the Paladin to level 3. He's murdering his own workers, which is smart because look how much wood he has. And he's sitting at 79 food. He can get like another knight, whatever. Um, I mean, if this Paladin stays up, it's very nice because you can see here Devotion Org is plus 2 armor, which is pretty good when your knights have plus 11 armor as is and they could go level 3 and get even more armor where it's his he's not building it but that's fine um the problem is though the knight uh your paladin could just die that's also a problem not sure if he had to sell anything to get this expo or if he's just doing it the old good old fashioned way but we shall see so OC is going for the ultimate army. There really is no reason to push in just yet. Get what you need. And then go. Wait for the knights or whatever it is you're building. Priest. Mortar? Okay. I mean. Whatever. Just units. No. Don't run in with half your units. Oh, yeah, it's sell like a zig or something. So, Bushimo is sitting at 49. Oh, my God. I wasn't even, like, paying attention to that because why would your hero be over there? Anyway, thank God OC was paying attention, and thank God he has an expo. Bushimo is sitting at 49 out of 50 food, so even once this expo goes up, he can't keep producing units until he starts mining. He only has two guys. Three Acolytes now? Yeah, three. So, okay. Yeah, if you murder the critter, you should always do that because it could be the human with a mechanical critter. But it's going to take him a little while. He's going to have to mine with three, get a fourth Acolyte, but probably he wants to get a Zig first and then get a fourth Acolyte to put him at 50, uh, 50, 50 food. So this is not looking bad. He should run over here. Get the other invol pot. And then go in. But instead he's decided. It's time. The ultimate fight. Of right click knights. Has begun. He's doing a lot of damage to these knights. With rain of fire that's for sure. Uh, he popped his. Invol. I guess he was being aimed. And now he's aiming the other hero. This is the problem. This is what I meant. He's got to survive this first bout. He should just kill the Lich that is sitting up front, but he is not, and he's getting nuked to death. He's killing all the units, which is great. But... He does not want to let these fat, fat heroes keep nuking away, which they are... Oh no. OC. OC. Well, guys, we have ourselves a winner. With the 2 0, this season has been decided. We now, and I'm updating it now if I can, know that 
pushing mo one two o making it seventy seven points for eight fa to take the win. Clutcher kick can now officially not win. There's only one series left, a max of three points, and they're at seventy three points. So eight fa for this that would be Nega Nebulus's team. Uh, Nega Nebulus has now won twice in a row. This is the set, well, three times, but as a captain, he's won twice in a row. And Eight FA, Ember, everyone else, Ember's won twice now in a row, three times in a row. He's got to stop. But we got it. So this has been a crazy season, guys. Um, I don't even know what to say. Like, I know at the end, everyone, you know, like it kind of got drawn out because we are in technically week six of a week five tournament. But. It's been a very fun season. I think this has been, and I, I say this every season, but it's really true. Like, GNL just keeps growing. I've been here since the beginning. You know, season one was fun, and I remember uh, Ubermensch donated to the Iron Couch, said he won GNL. Uh, my team won. And they, it was like Neo and a few others. Neo's even a, an admin in our channel. They go, what's GNL? And I think Todd or someone asked that, or Rotterdam, and they all went, no clue. Now, I mean, we get made fun of on all the, you know, they always say, oh, that looks like a game from GNL or something like that, but it's known, you know, it's grown, and that's because of you guys. So this has been awesome. Um, the channels right now, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11 people in the lobby of the voice channel. You guys should go join that or any of the other channels, you know, that's every night. It's been every single night. So this has been an awesome, awesome season. And with that, ADFA is getting some coaching from Todd, which is also awesome of him. So uh, I do want to tell everyone that, you know, like Todd's just doing this for free. Last season, he came to Floss and said, I will offer coaching. We didn't go to him. He came to us. So that's awesome of him, and I think uh, if you guys ever do watch Todd, or even if you don't watch Todd, go to his channel, say thank you, you know, do something. You know, he, he also does paid coaching if you're interested in that. You know, you can learn from freaking Todd. It's amazing. Now, that's that for this season. There's going to be a sixth season. We don't have an exact date, and we didn't make an exact date ahead of time. In part because we didn't know when this season was going to end. You know, it, it took a little bit longer. Um, but it's going to be pretty soon. We're going to take a little bit of a break, you know. It, there is a lot that goes around behind the scenes. We love it, but there's going to be a small break. We'll open signups again. We'll figure out the dates. We'll tell all you guys from GNL ahead of time. And we'll do it all again. New teams, another five weeks or whatever. If you guys have any suggestions, go to Jim Suggestions, the channel, right, and post them there. Just say, it's for GNL. I think you guys should do this. Whether it's how we run the league, whether it's how we tally the points. Like, if you have a better idea than the awesome Excel sheet that Mantelo made us, tell us. I mean, I'm not going to say we're going to do it. We'll take it into consideration. Any, anything you have, whether it's technical or just gameplay or whatever shoot us a suggestion um so i do have a chan i uh did a video which i could just give you guys to go watch but i'll probably just post it in jim newbie league in a few minutes when I announce the winners. So it's already 11. I'm not going to stay on longer. Stick around, Jim, until the next season, for sure. Keep playing. I know Paz and Qbert, they'll probably still be there training everyone. We'll still be around. Now I actually have time to play the game, you know, before I was working on this video or whatever. Training continues. Grinding continues. So keep going. Keep playing. I uh, hope you guys had fun this season, even though it got a little dragged out in the end. But uh, again, congrats to ADFA and everyone. So uh, I don't know. 
I'll stream some other time, some games, but there are still games left. Phonics, get your damn game done. High Commando versus uh, Burrow Rush. I'm not going to pressure them to doing it. If they can't do it, then they can't do it. But if you guys want to, play the game. We can see how close this season really would be if you guys finish up your games. You know? See if you uh, lost by one point, then you guys can go make fun of, uh, I don't know. Let's see. Who lost by one point? Who gave the free win? Who was that? I already forgot. The Red Orc. You can go make fun of Red Orc for giving away a free win or something. So go play out your series. Tell us when it is. We're not technically done, but the it's been decided on who won the season. So again, congrats to 8FA. All right. Uh, look for some posts. I'll be posting them soon with stuff. See ya.